What's going on guys? We're gonna go over customizing the new Pro Page 2.0. So to navigate to your Pro Page, you would go to My Media from your BeatStars account, click on Pro Page to the left, and your short URL will be right here under instructions if you're not sure how to navigate to it. But from your page, you would click on the Customize button, which is only gonna be available if you are logged in. So you click on Customize, and pretty much everything you, you're going to see is customizable in one way or another. So let's start with the fonts up top. You can replace your main menu font. Uh, right now it's on Open Sans. If I wanted to put it on Meriwether, as you can see, it updated right there. But let's go back to Open Sans. I like that a little better. Same with apply to content font, which would be basically every other font. On your uh, on your pro page website logo right now on the top left you see my logo here uh, you have an option to use either an image or text so if I switch to text here it says pro pa pro page 2 you can change that to anything you like I could just say my brand name boundless beats and it would say it just right there just like that and you can change the color as well but I prefer my logo so let's switch it back to there and you would just drag your file here or click here and navigate from your hard drive so main menu pretty self-explanatory background color I have it on gray uh, default menu link color white active menu color orange so if I clicked on beats it's active now so the color is orange this part is really interesting you can actually change your uh, you can customize your site menu so right now I have a bio right here and I have the display checked so basically you can choose which which pages are navigable or that your visitors can navigate to and you can change the names of the, the display names for those pages so if I want to make this say about instead of bio update and publish now it says about so that's cool but I really don't like to have uh, that page available so I'm gonna go ahead and take that back off so I'll uncheck display there so yeah that's fully customizable main background that's this area here you actually have the option to use either an, an image or a video or short video. It can be like a short looping video under five megabytes. So right now we're using an image. So let's click on video. You would click here or drag and drop your file in here. So let's find a short video. Let that upload. And now desktop viewers who visit your site will be able to see the video rather than uh, rather than your image. The short video backgrounds are not uh, viewable on mobile devices, so that would that would default back to your mobile background, which we'll get to in just a second. But uh, viewers who are viewing your website from a desktop device, a laptop, or a desktop computer would see this just the way I do right now on my computer instead of anything else. You can also change the uh, the overlay color. So right now, background color is set to this dark gray, and you can adjust the transparency here, which is good for if you want to make sure that your background image or or a video don't conflict with your text of your feature track. So let's take that back off uh, and go back to image there. Let's uh, actually find that image one more time put it back and crop an interesting part and save image okay mobile main background I would use the same image so that uh, visitors get the same idea when they're visiting your site from a desktop device or a mobile device so let's use the same image for there. Only difference would be the uh, the cropping 
is optimized for mobile devices. As you can see, it's, it's now more of a square. Well, it's exactly a square. So let's click it, find an interesting spot, save image. And that will be displayed in the main background area of mobile devices when they visit your site. So homepage main text. Right now I have no homepage main text, but it would be text that would be displayed right here. For example, if I wanted to type in, welcome to Boundless Beats. Update headline text, and there it is. But uh, I don't want any, so I'll leave that off myself. You can change the color of it as well, of course. Next, uh, audio visualizer color. So when a track is playing, as you can see, an audio visualizer happens or appears right there. There's actually two different ways you can customize it or two different parts of it you can customize. There's a overall visualizer color and a visualizer progress color, which basically is like a progress bar color so for example if i wanted to make it white i have to update it or publish it so let's do that now let's advance the progress to here and you can see the uh, visualizer is white to where the actual track progress is so that's a cool thing to be able to do but me myself i like to keep it one solid color so let's turn that back to orange home page main buttons so right now you see what type of track are you looking for in this search bar you can also change that to shortcut buttons which right now i have set as beats and sound kits you can change these to any of the main menu um, menu options here it could be your uh, tracks page, your albums, videos, sound kit services, contact, whichever you choose. But um, this is actually for desktop visitors only because on mobile devices, by default, the search bar is always going to be um, available or visible on the top of the of their um, near the top of the browser, and the shortcut buttons will display a little bit further under that. So basically the home page main buttons is for what you want your desktop visitors to see i like to have the search bar available so we're going to leave it there license background so as we as we scroll down we'll get to the licensing info section and this is just the background color here so if i want to make it another color let's do black boom but let's change that back to orange Okay, now this part is really interesting, YouTube video background. So when you play a track, you have an option. If you when, if when you uploaded that track, you associated a video to that track by uploading a video and linking that video to a specific track, you can actually have that track's video play here in the main background when that beat is played. So right now we have it toggled on. So let's click on this beat here, lit. And as you can see, a YouTube video loads up. So this is a YouTube video I have on my channel. And I also uploaded it to BeatStars and linked it to this particular track. So that that particular track triggers its video to be played. And this actually counts as an organic view towards that YouTube video, which is really cool. So you can, you know, whatever your video looks like, that's what you're going to see here. And it's just going to be cropped a little bit to fit the screen. So... It actually only appears on desktops for now, but that's still a great way to um, have your visitors have something cool to look at and to increase your YouTube views. So that's really, really cool. So we'll leave that on uh, YouTube section background. Pretty simple. Your YouTube section, which is just under your license section. You can change the background color of that. So let's leave that on gray. Primary button colors. There's pretty much two different uh, sets of buttons you got your connect with me button your read full license buttons which I have the background color set to orange text color to white then you have your um, oh the secondary buttons are here but uh, these are your hover hover colors so 
when I hover over one of these buttons, like, like you just saw, I have the color set to dark gray, or I think it's black. It's black when you hover over those buttons. So secondary button colors include things like the add to cart button here and the uh, checkout proceed to cart button here, which I have set to white for the background color and dark gray for the text color and the shopping cart icon there. So advancing down to section heading background. So right now we're on the main landing page. So if we were to navigate to beats, there's kind of a smaller background here, which is the same image, but you also, you actually have an um, option to use a different image. I just wanted to keep the same image. You can also just make it a solid color. So if it was orange, it would just be that solid orange color there. But let's make it back to the image. You can change the uh, opacity of it as well, depending on what your background color is set to, is what will um, what the overlay color will be there. So layout colors are a lot of different smaller graphical elements within your pro page that aren't as significant as necessarily the uh, like a main background color. And you can change them all here. Like for example, um, feature track background color. I now have it on gray. Let's make it green or something. Apply color. You can see that changed here. And that and that's the only thing that that's changing. Uh, let's make that back gray. Whereas certain aspects such as uh, alternate text color, this would change um, multiple uh, elements of text that apply to alternate text color within your pro page. So it's a good idea to, when you're when you're changing these, pick a color you think uh, will, will look good and goes with your your site colors and your aesthetic. But um, it's a good idea to kind of treat go through your site as if you were a customer buying and and go through pretty much all the pages and make sure everything looks good. Nothing is clash. No colors are clashing with each other and everything is readable and works works well. But again, some of these are specific elements. Let's just read through them real quick. Primary background color, primary text color, uh, feature track, uh, playlist hover color, which would be when you're hovering over, hovering over a text, hovering over a track on your playlist, that color. So pretty much self-explanatory for the most part, but it's just a good idea to be careful and make sure after you change all these colors to kind of just go through your site and make sure everything looks good. So PayPal logo and color, this would just be after a customer has added tracks or a track to his cart, his or her cart, and proceeded to check out. Let's just do it for an example. Uh, let's add this to cart, pick out a license, proceed to check out. And after they click this button to pay via PayPal or credit card, they would be on the PayPal screen and this would right here you could upload an image basically of your more than likely of your logo or your brand name which should be displayed at the top of the PayPal page so they know that they're doing they're making this purchase from you and not somebody else it's kind of a way to reassure your customers as they're go ahead and checking they're finally checking on out so other than that footer logo and text right now I have subscribe and follow me on your favorite social media and never miss a beat you can change your logo text. Well, actually, I have a I have text here. You can also have your logo here. I chose not to have my image, my logo image here because it's white. So I just put subscribe there. But just like uh, just like the main menu logo here, you can upload an image, and it will be populated right here over your text. But let's leave that on text. And of course, you can change the color. And the footnote text would populate right here where it says, follow me on your favorite social media and never miss a beat. So at that point, that's it. You can click publish now and your site's ready to go. Everything will be live and your site is ready to receive customers. So hopefully this has been helpful. Until next time, I'm out.